Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, where we're off to get ourselves a Krogan. Oh jeez, gosh. She got knocked off. Co-authorize that Krogan release. Okay. I will have order on my compound. Blah, 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 blah. Truly, don't trust anybody with a freaking megaphone. Oh my gosh. Moving in. Close. Let's see if I can knock him. Oh, oh my gosh, she was at the wrong angle. You scared me. Medkit. Where is it? Come on. Oh, can I not? No. Oh. Down. Oh jeez, is that a heat seek? Hang on. Let's see what this does. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted. Oh no, hang on. That's why. Here we go. Oh, what is that? Did, did that do anything? I don't, it didn't do anything yet. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Did it just go past him? Oh! oh. Nope, that didn't... Did it? Where did it go? I mean, it's cool, but very unpredictable. Not predictable so much in that, like, or it's not unpredictable, it's just that it, uh, it appears to, uh, want, you know, straight line of sight and for the enemy to not move. This is way easier than I remember it, but it's because I last time I played I was on like hard or um either hard or insanity, I can't remember. Took down the grid. We're blind and getting hit on all sides. Where are the heavies? Anything to pick up? Anything to pick up? I think I just happened to get here on time. For shenanigans. I mean, Oryok here is taking advantage of the shenanigans I am. Oh, because he did, he did have contact with Cerberus, that's right. So he knows. Also, it is in this planet that we encounter an old... Uh, an, an old friend, an NPC that we encountered in Mass Effect 1. I'll find her, and I'll probably let her go again. Ooh, sniper. Oh, what's this? Power cell. Ooh, nice. I do need that. So this is just a random experimental lab exposed to the... Like, look at this. Can I reload? Nope.
Can't fly. <laughs> Ow. What a maze. The door does not pay for Okay, now she's talking about herself in the freaking There we go. Third person. Oh man, this is why I don't usually let them do their own abilities, because then they don't have them available when I want them. Sometimes you get, like, uh, the upgrades when you hack those. Designing this place must have been a treat, honestly. Either that or somebody was... This was a bad place and nobody wanted to design. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm. Uh, I was admiring the view. I'll deal with the traitorous oak here. Every floor, every outpost, move. Money. Give me your upgrades. She's like a little mini dictator. I wouldn't work for this woman, man. I don't think she could pay you enough. Boring concussive shot. I just dodged that. Oh, jeez. I was dodging, trying to get the the ammo. It's okay, she's holding the mechs for later. <laughs> Woman, where are you? Yo, this planet. It's legit. <laughs> very distinct. You don't find very many scrapyard. You don't find very many scrapyard planets. <laughs> you really <laughs> you insist on doing that again? <laughs> See, that's what happens sometimes. Like, I can aim at it correctly, but with something like a cast, like uh, pull. Um, uh, incinerate also, and I think cryoblast, like as like a bit like tech and yeah, like as tech abilities, they kind of curve, and so sometimes they'll hit. Like you'll aim right, you'll you'll, you'll click on the person you want to aim for, but it curves around and like hits them like this, but it doesn't actually hit them because it hits something in the environment. So I always try to aim a little high, but I didn't I didn't in that one. Ah, there you go, like that. You have to kind of like aim around stuff in the obstacles in the environment, which is fine. Whoa. That's not, that's not cover. Ow. Oh my gosh. Owie. that, but here we go. Oh, wait. What did I just do there? Did it- wait, 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 what? They both- they both died? What the- <laughs> okay, we'll take the high ground. <laughs> you doing okay there, Gears? Hmm? Shepard, don't shoot. You know. Uh-huh. 
it, the, this is such a haphazard location to have another mini lab. Anyway. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, ran up the Noctis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Hmm. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Is paying me supposed to make up for working for Saren or whatever you're doing here? No, but it's a start I wouldn't have had without you. So maybe I'm not the best example of moral research. But give me a little credit for trying. Mm. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. That's gonna bite you in the ass someday. Yep. I feel like a shepherd just stares at him and then walks away. It's actually true. Um, this is one of the situations where if you paragon your way through it, um, she will go on to kill a bunch of people in Mass Effect 3. Um, because I'm just kind of spoiling it now because it is like, oh, because, you know, it's what I, I did it because I'm a paragon, even though this time I did take that neutral option in the center. Uh, I don't know if you can actually kill her in two. I think you can. Um, but she does, it turns out in Mass Effect 1, she was, um, Im like, um, imprinted or whatever, or whatever it is, uh, whatever the Sovereign was doing, like, messing with your minds, you know, um, and making you into, like, uh, slaves, essentially. Oh, he, uh, he did that to her, and us letting her go, so she came here to do her work here, and she doesn't, she is one of the, like, lead researchers, she knows exactly what's going on. Like, she's, she encourages Okir to, like, do some more terrible things than he maybe even would have. Um, and, yeah, no, she's just a monster. <laughs> she's just a monster. And then I'm pretty sure in Mass Effect 3 she ends up killing a lot of people. And it's all because we let her go and we shouldn't have. But, you know, you can't know that. You know what I mean? There are some people we've let live throughout the rest of the series that will end up doing great good in Mass Effect 3. But it's like... Yeah, I mean, it's just a little frustrating. Like I, I, I play it as like I, like I don't know. Like Shepard doesn't know because she doesn't, you know. And unless I'm renegading, I'm not gonna kill that woman. But it is satisfying to renegade it and kill her, knowing that she will be a monster. But even a renegade can't. Like, like a renegade can say, you know, like, like, hey what you're doing you're doing like with Saren like you're doing terrible things you know and in this one it's like you're doing terrible things it's like I got a bad I get a bad feeling about you, you I've watched your progress. oh dang I didn't realize she was right outside his door she has her own little mini lab out there um I thought that was like a different stairwell anyway yeah it, it does freaking Zaid is right it does come back to bite me in the butt down the line being nice <laughs> It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Rana? Uh, who do what? I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But 
before Saren can deliver his endless troops. In rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. Mm. I like that part. It has weight. <laughs> okay. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. What? I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. I always have to, like, re-figure out what he's trying to go with on this. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. Mm -hmm. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps, but I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or Horde would. My legacy is perfection. With each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead, they will exceed, but not forget. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teeth. <laughs> Shepard. <whoa. laughs> I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. <sighs> yeah, okay, so I, I am seeing where he's doing this. Like, yeah, like, even though we wouldn't consider Krogan capable of coddling, um, potentially, you know, with the few survivors being born, the ones that are left aren't being put through the same rigorous, like, application of, like, survival that, uh... That they were that, that they were in the past that the Krogan would put themselves through in the past. They're like trying to like maintain their numbers, and so they're not being as risky in some ways um, with their young or with their you know adult Krogan in some ways. Um, even though some of the like Rex said before that some of the adults like they just kind of go out and they never come back, you know, because they don't see much point in like investing in a dying species, you know, like their own. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be... And it's actually a really good idea because instead of like creating a horde or a cure like he says, which would, you know, entail a nuclear response, like making one pure Krogan, like not, his idea of purity I think also is a little, like I, I don't really 100% know what it is, but the like the, the Krogan he's made is still has the genophage, it is just like apparently like the perfect amalgamation of like a true Krogan, which Honestly, a lot of it, I think, is in the raising, not necessarily in, like, the birthing. So, like, 
I'm still kind of like it's like it, your 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 Krogan could still get coddled, you know, for being, I don't know. It's it is what it is. <laughs> your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage, but my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention, I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Oak here's data. Flush the tanks. She's that weak wheel. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will. Stay and do what must be done. Anyway, I don't know if she's like flushing the tanks, but eventually you've got to let him out. So like, or is she like putting like contaminants? I think she, yeah, she's trying to put contaminants in or something. Come in handy. <laughs> anyway, I've always been not always, I'm sure I've had it explained to me like at least three times. But like the the like ignoring the genophage is like, oh we'll suffer, you know, the most humiliating thing an enemy can suffer is to be ignored. I'm like, it's a it's a virus. Char I'm hmm. We've been spotted. Uh, Oh, here isn't the only one with toys. Yeah. Yes. I'm scared. This part is hell on wheels, especially on harder difficulties. Enemy charging! Okay, hang on. Oh, cool. I don't know what it did. It didn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't do like anything. Yeah, okay. Also, I don't know if I like the collector the rifle, but I can't tell. I can't tell. Uh, oh, I can charge it. Oh 
Come here. Dang it, I messed it up. Yeah, well. Oh no. Oh wait, this one didn't get all the way out. I think this is supposed to happen this way. Well, now I feel bad. I'm taking friendly fire. Is, there is no such thing as friendly fire. Alarms in the lab. What's that Krogan doing up there? Shepard, the lab alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins, and Okir's personal life signs are failing ah. rapidly. I recommend haste. So she was gonna... So she was just putting gas in the room, not necessarily in the tank. Well, uh, if we can't have Dad... Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? A bullet in the brain would save us a lot of headaches. No! A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs your treatment. My son! Yes! He's a big one. My son! <laughs> Spoilers a little bit, but this is my son. But his son was recovered. His son, my son. You mis you misunderstand. And we get the choice to activate whether or not to activate that Krogan. It can just like sit in our hold the whole game. Uh. Okay. Uh, but I am gonna call this one here because if we if I click out, it will put us right into a bunch of cutscenes, and we don't want to do that yet. Um. But anyway. Yay! <laughs> well, you'll see. You'll see in the next one. Those of you who don't potentially know what's going on, which probably isn't very many of you, but. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is the part of the video where I want to say thank you to my patrons. So thank you to all of you, but to especially my sapling tier patrons, Scaramonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. Thank you so much for your support. And, uh, once again, thank you all, and I hope to see you in the next one.